Whenever we combine pitch with some kind of timing, we get music. And so whenever we go and choose to improvise and choose to create solos, those are the two th things that we're having to choose. Which note am I gonna play and how long am I gonna play it, right? So let's make it a little bit more simple. Let's remove one of those variables. I wanna remove the note that you have to play and I'm going to give you the note that you play and I want us to explore over here in the timing. And what I want you to do, maybe for the first time ever, is I want you to play what you feel, okay? There's no tab for what we're about to do. And maybe you've never played anything that you haven't been told to play, either by a teacher or by another record or by a tab. This is going to be completely generated on your own and we're going to play one note. There's no wrong notes because we're only playing one note. And we're going to explore this note's potential to its fullest. We're gonna find out what all we can do with one note. Now I know that that kind of sounds simple and maybe even silly right now. However, I think that we can often get too complex and we for can forget the power of one note and what's right there in front of us. I think we could all be more um, tasty musicians if we actually use the tools that we already have within reach. And so that's part of what we're gonna do here. We're gonna simplify it by taking the note selection out of it and just work on timing. And I want you to, again, play what you feel and I want you to pay attention and see if you start to develop patterns or if you start to get in a rut with what you're playing. And as soon as you notice that you're getting into a rut, that you're starting to repeat something over and over again, I want you to intentionally break it. And I want you to try something different and I want you to try to play a timing, a note, or the note in a way that you've maybe never played it before. Okay, we're gonna start that out with our G string. I'm gonna demonstrate for you first and then we're all gonna try it together. You're gonna play just a G chord, just a boom, chuck a boom, chuck a boom, chuck a. And I like to close my eyes when I do this, and this is, may sound and look silly, I really don't care. Um, this is my house, I can look as silly as I want, right? But what I'm doing is I'm listening to the, the music that they're serving me. I'm, I'm, they're providing my foundation that I can walk on, okay? So, and I'm going to react, I'm going to give them back what I feel that I want to give them back, okay? And I just want you to watch me do it for a little while and then we're gonna all try it together. One, two, ready, go. So I tried to explore every potential space that Caleb and Sarah provided to me and I tried exploring every sp space and sticking that note there and seeing how it sat. Let it ring for a while, try it in succession, try different note uh, types like quarter notes, half notes, triplets. I kind of forgot about the meter a little bit and just randomly threw some notes in there to see what it felt like. And that's the key word here. I'm talking about actual feeling and then reacting to positive and negative re reinforcement of what you're feeling. If you like something, then, you're, then repeat it. If you don't like it, you don't do that again. There's a lot of learning in that. So we're going to do that. We're gonna play a G chord for you. You're welcome to close your eyes. Nobody's looking at you. Everybody's paying attention to their own guitar. And I want you to play a G note. And I want you to explore everywhere that you can play that G note. And if you, again, if you find yourself getting into a rut, I want you to try to break it and come up with something new. One, two, ready, go. 